thought um, it was a hugely impressive lineup of, of case studies, and you could see that any one of those could have won the awards, really. Um, and that shows the strength and depth of innovation and good practice that's going on in terms of continuous improvement. So, congratulations to everybody, and here's hoping to lots more in the future. Well, as I said in my um, address to the uh, awards day today, I think there's a lot that people can learn from the sports sector because athletes and sports people are, are very naturally aspirational. You know, they want to be the very best they can be. And children have that, you know, when they start playing sport, they want to win and they want to represent Wales, whether it's in football or netball or cricket or any other sport. And I think um, that's, that's a great lesson, really, just to be um, absolutely aspirational about what we're aiming to do with our careers in public service because you know it's always about pushing yourself that little bit harder I, I, I worry sometimes that we are too readily accepting of mediocrity in Wales and low targets and low aspirations and what we've seen today is really high achievers going for the the stretch goals in every sector and I, I really like that so I think that's something also bravery you know to be a good leader you've got to be brave and to be a successful athlete you've got to be brave because you need to put your body and your mind on the line really every time you compete so I think that's another um, another comparison and probably hard work you know because you don't get anywhere in in sport or indeed in politics you know I work with a lot of politicians and I I, I feel for them at times because they put in enormous effort and don't get a great deal of praise you know from from the public at large but I see what they do around the margins of their jobs and it's very very hard so I think there's lots of lessons about bravery and, and standing up for what you believe in and being personally confident as well you know despite the flack that you can get as a leader sometimes you need to trust yourself and your instincts and make sure that you're um, you're doing things that are serving the people out there who rely on your services I think it's critically important because so much good work is going on and I, I've been really impressed by seeing the whole range of great innovation and continuous improvement in a really exciting way across all the sectors in Welsh public life. But of course people don't get to hear much about each other's sector so it's, it's a wonderful opportunity to really share good practice and to give each other ideas. Not everything will work in every sector but a lot of things will um, and I think hopefully this will be disseminated now down through organisations uh, when people take their great awards home with them and also across sectors as well because clearly not everybody in the whole of Welsh public service is represented in the room but hopefully it'll be a mechanism whether that's social media wise or otherwise to ensure that everybody gets to hear about these amazing stories.